Hi everyone, it's Bitcoin from the Big Chewowski in the third round of this third week. So before I show you the round against uh, this guy, or before I get into that, I'll just show you what happened in the last round against Mephisto. So he actually full cleared me, but you can see a pretty big banner difference uh, up top here. I think he one shot everything, no problem. Down here, he took three attempts on the Rex Barris 5 steam, which was pretty surprising. People usually don't struggle against it that much. But then again, I guess a lot of people just use like Malak Solo, which is a really cheap counter in some ways, like it's a guaranteed win. But at the same time, pretty expensive because you break up your Darth Revan. And I guess he made the right gamble on Darth Revan in the front because he also one shot Sith Eternal Emperor, which means that he allocated his Galactic Legends well. Or like many of the other opponents have faced, he managed to get lucky with Vader, which is always pretty surprising to me because the win rate's like 40% or something but uh, everyone so far seems to beat it no problem. And then three attempts on Treya once again. It's unbelievable how well this team does for being gear 12. People just really aren't prepared for it in the combination with all the other teams that are being set, I guess. I don't really know what else uh, could cause those struggles. And pretty much those two losses are what cost him all of those banners. Um, solid Granite then from the guild Starforge Mandalore. 730k lifetime, which is very high, uh, like quite a lot higher than a lot of other people that I've faced in relation to me, I guess. So uh, nice job to him. Now, interesting here, the Bastilla team, he's still dropping at the top 27. Uh, he has three Galactic Legends and only recently got his Jedi Master Luke, uh, I believe. Or actually, no, the recent one was Rey, but he gave the ultimate from Jedi Master Luke to Rey, which is something I did as well. Um, so yeah, Ray is only recent, so there's not a whole lot of data in his history on how he uses Ray. But Supreme Leader Kylo and Jedi Master Luke, those are on defense uh, or offense, like all over, I guess. Uh, he doesn't really do anything consistent. He just switches it up a lot, which is uh, something I always like to see, but it certainly makes it more challenging to fight. Uh, in terms of speed, this BB-8 here is 303, so he's definitely got the modding to be very fast all around and no surprises in the top three rows here in terms of speed. Uh, I guess I would have Bastilla a bit faster, but uh, yeah, I guess that's his choice. So uh, that's what he's got. He's also got armor up there and uh, should, meet, should be an interesting round to uh, fight this guy. So he has just started attacking a little bit ago uh, and he just took down another team that I hadn't seen yet. Being the Finn team, okay. So we took out the front wall, no problem. Everything down in one go. I said the Padme Dark Trooper team again, uh, which I used a while back. But I noticed in the banners that he uh, scored that he obviously he took out Ray, but then he also got 56 banners on one of the other teams, which is probably Darth Revan. And that was probably a Galactic Legend and almost certainly Supreme Leader Kylo, I would guess, uh, on one of these teams. So my guess is that he can't full clear. Uh, unless, again, this is another guy who gets lucky with Vader and manages to uh, take out SCE. But uh, we'll have to see about that. And then over here, I don't think he has moved yet. Nope. But uh, he's probably planning what he wants to do. So on his front, then, he's got the Bosk. Well, I mean, I, I told you before, I'm not going to read out all the teams. You can see them over here. And then down here, he's got these. So these are really strong teams. And the Shaq team is actually pretty annoying because most of the obvious counters that I would have against it are on defense for me or are teams that I wouldn't really want to use. Uh, but I was a bit worried that he would set all three Galactic Legends on defense in the bottom zone here because he did that once in the past against one of his opponents. And if he would do that, uh, well, obviously he would get stuck against Ray Han Chewie. So that was sort of my way of mitigating that strategy. But uh, that could have meant that I would be... Uh, stuck from clearing about half the map, which would hurt a fair bit in terms of banners. So uh, Yeah, I guess uh, he didn't do that. I was happy to see it, but I still have some strong teams to take out here So I'm gonna get started on the CLS team and before I do that Let me just check for the one thing that I do myself Which is the tenacity modding on 3PO Mine for the record is like 180% tenacity, so there's no Taking that down with Ray Jedi training. Uh, let's go for resistance. Uh, 
and let's see what we can do. So. Hopefully land a daze. Yes, I got it. That makes this fight so much easier. And I also really like it when R2 assists here. In this case, he didn't. Uh, I think I'll go for the burn here. Although the stun is actually more tempting. Okay, didn't get the stun, so... Let's see if I can still take him down a fair bit. Uh, let's try and get a... No, actually the other two are about to move, so I'll go for a burn here. Because now I can control him. And basically kill this way. So two options here, I can... I should probably use the smoke screen because that's a guarantee. Guarantee to protect myself from the damage, whereas the other move wouldn't be. Uh, now I'll try and get a stun, which I did manage to land. Control this guy. I'm not going to get BB-8 back to full, but that's fine. And there we go. Pretty nice first kill for 53. Okay, next up I'll fight the Padme team. You've seen the counter for this a couple times. If that is like, that's an assumption, but that is if you've ever watched anything that I've made. Though recently I've noticed that the views are starting to gradually go up a bit, uh, which is nice because I haven't really done any kind of specific, uh, what do I want to call it, like pushing to get more attention or anything like that. So to anyone out there who is new, welcome. It's always nice to uh, have some interested viewers. And uh, how about I just concentrate on this match for a bit. And get Jirana Anakin down a bit. Uh, do I want to spread crit immunity? There's nobody who's going to be feeding Termeter for a bit, so let's do it. Uh, let's do this. Oh, even the dog is bored of my fight already. Hmm, I kind of lost the crit immunity way too, uh, sorry, the direct focus way too soon there. I wonder if I misplayed something. Uh, I'm not too happy about that, actually. Ouch. Yeah, this feeds a lot of protection up back over. I can do an AoE here. So I'll get countered to death. That's the direct focus gone. Uh, and I kind of have to target this guy here. But fortunately I have the crit immunity, so that does help. But the retribution, that's not going to help me at all. Fortunately, this can be countered and I get to cleanse. Yeah, this is not looking too great. Okay, let's do this. Feed more turn meter. And now I'm going to go for the big hit because I can't afford... Actually, I can do an AoE here because it won't be countered. Oh, damn it. I said I should do the hit there and I didn't do it. Oh, no. Okay. Concentration. Get back to it. That would have been uh, super easy if I would have used that. Okay, AoE first. Um, just basic. Basic again. I don't really crit, so there's not much point in uh, using the other moves. And now I'm going to take him out. Even that didn't do it, my god. At least Padme didn't heal him. Um, I don't think a basic is gonna kill, so let's do this. Okay, so this was a lot less smooth than some of the previous fights. But uh, at least Jedana Anakin is gone. Uh, it's just basic for now. And start going for Padme. Two minutes on the clock, that's more than enough. Uh, it gets substantially easier after Jedanat Anakin is down. And of course, you take a lot more turns as well with less characters on their side. Uh, not too sure why I hit GK there, that was unnecessary. And this should kill. Uh, 
And there's not going to be any uh, full protection on this one, I think. I can try, but I don't really see how it would be possible. Yeah, no, let's uh, forget about that one. It's the 52, I think. Looks like he has taken down something else. The Grievous team. He's attacking very slowly. Like he could be practically done with that zone by now. Um, okay, Shaq. So what I'll do here, since I have it anyway, is I'll use General Skywalker. And the clones. Uh, it's not a great match. It's going to be 51 banners, but... It's uh, probably the best value trade I can make at this point. I could also do JKL and Hermit Yoda, but uh, I'd rather save them with JML if needed uh, in the event that he has a Galactic Legend in the back. Uh, that felt like an absolutely paper General Skywalker. He uh, went down so hard there. Now let's see what I can do on Shaq. I could really use General Skywalker's help here. As the 501st is being mercilessly slaughtered. Ah, oh, come on, it's so lame. That feels really lame. Uh, okay, so if I do an AoE, Echo definitely won't be... Uh, ...dazed, but Arc might be. So I feel like I have to risk it. Okay, perfect. I was hoping that would get Shock out, and it did. Well, it's gonna be ugly banners, but got the job done. Uh, my General Skywalker wasn't really modded for this, he's just too low on protection. So I knew that was a risk going in. But that, like, I just dropped a lot of banners, that's basically like using SLK against Ray. So we said no Galactic Legends on defense, uh, and the banners I just dropped there, that could be the sort of the, what do you call it, like the buffer that he needed in order to win. But, uh, I kind of doubt that he has SLK against SE. I don't think he saw that one coming. So maybe, again, if he has all three Galactic Legends, he could also use Ray. But uh, it's also possible that he already used that up. So uh, let's just now set a very high score for the rest. As good as I'm able to. And uh, let him fight up against that. So Resistance Hero Finn should go down here, and that he does. Got the stun, perfect. Uh, so Finn here, he's going to be using a move, and it probably won't be on Spirit again, yeah. So I don't know why, it feels like almost like something's changed about Finn's uh, AI behavior, but he used to go for Spirit because she has the Foresight. Uh, but that seems to have changed, so sometimes it'll cost you a banner. And I think the place where I'll use my Galactic Legends is both going to be in that other zone. Because this here isn't particularly troubling. The nice thing about this team is that it goes down so quickly. Whereas the B1 version, it's uh, pretty time consuming. Uh, so totally fine with using this. Uh, let's take out... Mm, can't really get stunned. Let's just do BB-8. Or actually, Rage Edit training for the healing immunity might be the best target. And I'll just make sure that I end with the healing move. Also, her daze is pretty annoying, so... Let's deal with that too. This should kill... Just the one. Gotta get rid of that healing immunity, so I should actually stall a bit here. 
this should get dodged. Uh, but I wasn't even paying attention to Shaq, who is uh, gradually dying here, so it's not too much I can do in that regard. So, 54 in the end. So now I have to hit Sunfak, who usually counters, in this case he didn't. Hopefully, can control this guy. I mean, it should be possible, but... Uh, and now we try to go for the stun. It's a bit of a gamble, because if I get countered, I drop a banner. He countered twice, that's even worse. But uh, it's not enough damage to strip any protection banners, I think. So I can just keep going like this. And he's full now anyway. So I can force crush here. Pretty sure EP will count as full. And if not, then it'll be okay. Okay, let's fight Mon Mothma next. I use Bastilla and Ki Adimundi here again. Now last time it looked pretty dicey, but that was uh, with Kara in there. Let's do stuff a little different now. Good hit there on Wedge. Now instead of trying to kill Wedge now, I'm gonna let, because he's gonna get revived with full health anyway, I'm gonna do it this way. Get them both a bit lower. And then hopefully they ask for some counter attacks. That's one down. And then I'm just going to ability block this one. And that seems to be a much easier way of dealing with it. So even though Newt's the most annoying team to get good banners against, uh, I think I want to use JKL and Hermit Yoda against Bosk, because I'm a bit concerned that the other teams don't have the firepower to get through quickly enough, uh, and to not end up losing a lot of banners. So uh, I figured I'd send these in here. And maybe one of my other teams can still do okay against uh, Newt over there. So let me just go for Mando first. It uh, doesn't really matter, I'm going to stun them anyway. Uh, because Bosk I'll mostly handle through counters. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's just kill him. This guy's going to taunt anyway. And they're not going to do too much damage. Whereas I am. Okay, let's hope that was the right call. Uh, bring Kylo Ren and bring what? I'd have a slightly better chance at maxing banners than some of the other things I could do here. So, tank tech. And I can do... Weapon tech to prevent revives. He can uh, heal by himself. So I'm just going to let them do the extortion. Uh, eventually, anyway, for now, I'll just stun him. Maybe I can even take him out before he gets that chance. Yeah, it seems like there would be a good chance, actually. There we go. That was pretty easy. Uh, cleanse that burning. Stun this guy. And the taunt will stay up by itself. And now I should have the stun back. I do. And see if we can get rid of B1 before... He manages to take anything else from what? I highly doubt it, but it's worth a shot. Yeah, no, he still got them a little bit there. Um, basic, because it doesn't do as much damage. Okay, what's looking good? Let's just do this for the 
All right, no revive kill, dang it. Well, there was nothing I could have done. A basic wouldn't have saved him either. Didn't uh, think about that though. Dooku team, uh, first order. Yeah, I guess it's gonna be, f although I only need to get two kills and not that much in a rush for a feat. The Hux leadership is just so much better to stop the counters. So let's just go with that. It's uh, all good. I didn't even check which fleet he has actually, just uh, realized. Um, so, Dooku is just gonna stealth them, but I'm kinda okay with it, because L3 is dead. And now I can put up the taunt here, and I think this will kill Dooku. Uh, Asajj can't counter. Uh, actually, I don't have, uh, yeah, I didn't have advantage at the moment. But I think First Order Stormtrooper is still going to count as full here. Yep, and I think that's the feat done as well. It looks like he has proceeded. I feel like there's a chance that he has something against SE, or maybe he's waiting until the end to use uh, his Vader. Yeah, so this is the same he always does. Actually, an interesting choice to put Resistance X-Wing in the starting lineup, because the AI will never ever call it in. Uh, and Poe doesn't add that much in the beginning either. Like, besides getting the Foresight back constantly. He's uh, not that interesting. So let me go in on that one. I unfortunately don't remember what I used last time. It worked quite well. I could go and look it up. But uh, maybe not. Like for a win it's pretty important. But on the other hand I'd also like to give this guy a shot. And not absolutely over engineer absolutely everything. I just said absolutely twice in a sentence. So I'm gonna hit this guy. Just let him spend his move. Put up the buff immunity here. Which is probably gonna get cleansed, but I'm making decent progress here because now I get the shot at taking out two ships in one go. Pretty happy with that. Uh, that was a theory, but it actually worked out in practice. So where were we, sir? Ah, that's a beefy ship. That's funny because, yeah, like I said, you never really get to fight it, so you don't realize how strong it actually is sometimes. Uh, he was already taunting. Not bad, but this should be over momentarily. Yeah, bring Ahsoka would have been better. I was just thinking banner recovery. They're usually slow fights. But now... Hopefully it's not the ghost or something. Okay, even Hawk. I just recovered that, sir. Well, let's put it up there once more. I could have actually gone for turn meter with Anakin, but... That's okay. Uh, so they're both stealth up, which means nobody is. Yep, yeah, I'm happy with that. Would be funny. I don't know if he's taken out the Treya in the back. I don't think he has. Would be funny if that once again gets the hold. I might actually uh, choke if that happens. Uh, I don't mind the target lock there. So I'm going to go with the AoE here. See if I can get some progress on Vader in a moment. Also, like saving the cleanse for the burning, obviously, that was the other argument. And the dazes, not to mention those. Uh, and I think I would already do this before bringing in Spy. Because it's just uh, way safer. And Spy is more of an insurance policy. So lame that when your uh, hyena finally gets a turn, there's actually nothing to use uh, that ability that he has for, like the the unique essentially, where you get the assist calls. Okay, 
Okay. This is gonna be 64 still, okay. It's better than I thought. 2670, sir. That is not an easy score to beat. Uh, he's on track for it, but... I'd be very impressed. Treya's gonna do it. I have uh, complete faith. So we just finished attacking, uh, took forever, and uh, as you can see, he actually won by four banners, to my surprise, on some of the teams in the back. Uh, the fleets, I think he got 63 and uh, 67. So the 67 was against my uh, Radus, which was pretty surprising. Uh, I don't think I've ever gotten a 67 on the Radus, so that's pretty impressive. Uh, maybe in my fight, if I would have left out the Rex reinforcement, I could have gotten that, but I'm not sure. I've never done that, so that's pretty impressive. Then uh, on the... I don't even remember if you saw this zone go down. Uh, but here, yeah, you got good scores all around. And then in the back here, that was most surprising to me. The last, like the SCE, he used Ray there, I'm guessing. He got 55 on it. Um, but the Newt and the Treya teams were the last two standing. And on the Newt team, he got 54, which I don't know, like you've got to have overkill left essentially to get that. And I don't really know what kind of overkill he could have considering all the other teams he had to kill. So that's some perfect budgeting, I'm guessing. Uh, and then on the Treya team, he also got 54, which actually almost nothing in the game can do. Uh, he also did it extremely fast. So it's got to have been something strong that he had left, but I just don't really know what it could be. Uh, because General Skywalker couldn't do it, uh, maybe CLS, but I'm guessing he used that on Finn. I'm just gonna have to see in the history, but uh, yeah, he won, as you can see. And I was thinking like the General Skywalker fight, that's where I dropped the most banners, but even if Ark and Echo would have survived, it would have still have been a 51. And he has more GP than me, so those four banners wouldn't have made the difference. And other than that, just looking across the map, uh, if I would have attacked absolute last, then maybe I could have tweaked something and gotten an extra banner out of any of these somewhere. Uh, I'm sure it could be done. But uh, yeah, that didn't happen. So quite a surprising loss. Uh, unfortunate that this week kind of went from being like virtually rank one at the time, of course, if other people claim feats, you get pushed down a bit, to then uh, just failing against auto deploy, uh, to then dropping a battle that was completely unnecessary in the last round. And then actually losing this third round, which is the first one in a very long time. So I guess my opponent was solid. Uh, yes, that is a joke. I tend to deal with these things with a bit of humor because otherwise it's kind of sad. Um, so congrats to this guy. It was uh, a bit of a surprise. I must say I did think that he was going to set his ray on defense. Or like I said, I even thought he would set three Galactic Legends over here potentially because he's done that uh, before even though the other guy had plenty of Galactic Legends too. So I had to be prepared for that, and as a result, that's why I dropped so much on the Shack. Uh, I did consider sacrificing one of my GLs there, but if I would have done that, uh, yeah, it's a huge gamble as well, because chances are that in the back he would have one of the three uh, that I wouldn't be able to handle well with the other one that I had left. Uh, it's an option, it's something I could have considered. It's also a possibility he would have had two in the back, so... That would just be gambling, especially if you're going first. Uh, and I didn't really want to play the game of waiting until the end. If I would have done that, I'm going to take a guess that it could have probably gotten me to win. Because him putting up this kind of score would have confirmed for me he doesn't have GLs on defense. But uh, yeah, that's the, the risk of the game. And uh, it's not really a game that I like to play. Um, but yeah, maybe it could have gotten me a win here. So anyway, that's it for this week. Um hope you found it an interesting match. It was a loss. Uh, I guess mostly interesting to see how all of the teams went down. Uh, his defense wasn't too interesting besides the bottom front zone. Uh, but maybe there was something interesting in there for you. I don't really know what I would have done different. But uh, yeah, I'll see you in the final week. And uh, have a great, I guess, uh, day off from Grand Arena. And good luck uh, with your last week.